The details are amazing, the speed is incredible, and it can do not safe for work images and text. I'm talking about Z-Image Turbo. In this video, I will show you how you can use it on your machine. First, you need ComfUI. Download it from this URL by clicking Download ComfUI and select the version you need. Use the link below my video to go to my Patreon. There's a free guide where to download everything and in which folder to put it. Also, you can download the workflow we are using throughout this video. Now, instead of ComfUI, drag my workflow in. It should look like this. In a moment, I will explain how we get from base prompting to images like this. Let's go over the workflow real quick. Here we have the model loader. Make sure it says Z image selected from the list. Then we have the text encoder here that transforms your text prompt into an embedding that the image model can use. It should say Quen 3 underscore 4B. Down here we have the VAE that transforms our image from the latent space into the pixel space. This is the normal Flux 1 Dev Save Tensor file. And if you used my one click installer from Patreon, it's called the image VAE. Over here, we have our positive prompt and our negative prompt. The negative prompt basically does nothing in the Turbo model. It will have an influence when the real base model will be released. The case sampler here is set to only nine steps. That's why the images pop out so fast. Also, the quality with all are simple here is pretty good. Resolution-wise, you can go crazy. You can go up to a full HD resolution. You can even go further, but then you get terrible images. Over here, we have the save image node that saves your image into a folder with the current date and with the image as a prefix. So how to prompt? We start simple. A woman with red hair in medieval armor, sword on her back. So I run it and it should give us a similar image. Now let's add a camera angle. Let's do three quarter view, slightly low heroic angle. So much better already. Now let's go even further and we're adding standing in the ruins of an ancient cathedral and render again. Now let's add cinematic lighting. We add Dramatic God Rays, Cold Blue Stained Glass, Light Floating Dust. If that didn't improve the image, I don't know. So next, we are going to give her some attitudes. We say hand on sword hilt, piercing stare straight into the camera. So I'm excited. Let's see. Now let's detail out the armor instead of in medieval armor, we replace it with wearing masterfully detailed dark gunmetal and deep crimson medieval armor with gold filigree and realistic battle wear. Okay, render it and let's see. Yeah, amazing. And that is what we can do with every detail in the image. Instead of a woman with red hair, we replace it with photorealistic 8K cinematic masterpiece of a fierce woman with long, vibrant red hair and sharp, blunt bangs. Pale, freckled skin, bold, dramatic makeup with perfect winged eye eyeliner and matte black lipstick. So run it. While this is great, a lot of you have clicked on my video because they want to know how to use not safe for war content. So you can prompt a lot of stuff in here. I can't show it to you because I like my videos monetized. Also for things that aren't supported directly, you can go to Civitai and click here up here on models and activate the filter for LoRa Z Image Turbo. Z image turbo and here you can find a lot of stuff that is currently blurred out because yeah like I said YouTube would kill this video and yeah just download something you like but I will demonstrate LoRa usage in general so first find something you like our text is Jinx LoRa here from League of Legends and I'm downloading the file by clicking here 
and then put it in your ConfUI folder under models. And here's the folder that says Loras. So you see, I put it in here. How to build it into our workflow. So make a double click into an empty space and type in Lora loader. So for now we are using the basic Lora loaders from Comfy Core here. And now we need to connect it. It's important that it goes through the model and the clip. So put the set notes over here. And now what we are going to do is we are putting the LoRa loader below. And now we connect the model, we drag it from here. And the same goes with the clip. And now we drag it up to the set model. So it goes through one time. And now what you need to do is you need to select your LoRa. If you haven't restarted ConfUI, press the R key on your keyboard and it will update. Then click up here and type the name of your LoRa in. So I want the Jinx LoRa and I'm setting it to a strength of one. So what we need to do next is we need to adjust our prompt. We are removing everything that belonged to the woman's description we had before. And now we go back to Civitai where we downloaded the LoRa and we see here in the trigger word section, it says Jinx. So I click it and go back to my workflow and I paste it with control V. Let's see if it works. We press run here and I expect us a nice image output. I love it. So it's really cool. So for your not safe for work needs, go to Civitai, download the LoRa, look at the trigger words and do it like I did it here. In our next chapter, I will show you upscaling for this. Go to the manager and click custom notes manager. Then here type ultimate and here install the ultimate SD upscale. There should be an install button if you haven't installed it already. So after that, you need to go back and you need to restart and you need an upscale model. Go to the model manager and here type in 4X and install the 4X Ultra Sharp. There are other good upscale models. I like this one here. I use it since SDXL. To me, it's reliable and the output is good. There may be better ones. I don't know. And what we now want to do is we make a double click in an empty space and we search for Ultimate SD and we drop it in here. So what we need to do now is we need to connect it with everything. So we have our set notes here and that means we can also retrieve it via a get note. Get note. And I copy paste it here. So it's less spaghetti. You can also connect it directly if you want. So the top one is a model and this here is for the VAE. So, but like I said, we need to connect everything. And so this is where it gets tricky. So because we need the output image and of course we need an upscale model. Upscale model loader. Uh, no, that's wrong. We need load upscale model, this one here. So the Fox Ultra Sharp is pre-selected for me. And yeah, okay, that's good. What we also need is the positive and the negative prompt. So I'm just taking it from here, positive and the negative prompt. Okay. Also, we need to save out the image. So I go to this and press Control C and Control V. And now I connect it, so it gets saved out as well. And I click in here, I calling it Z image upscale. Okay, so now for settings, what we need to do is upscale by two, let's do 1.5 steps. Let's do nine again, like in the base model, CFG is one. 
You look simple, denoise. Yeah, 0.2 is good. Maybe go lower if you notice some ghosting or anything, then go to 0.15 or just 0.1. Tile width and height. Uh, yeah, you can use 1024 by 1024 if you like, but 512 by 512 is also fine. So it depends on what your end resolution is and what your VRAM is. So if you don't have much VRAM, then go with lower tiles, but not too low. So I think the rest can stay as is. And yeah, that's good. Let's let's try it. Maybe we will run into an error. Okay, and it immediately starts to upscale this image here because we have a fixed seed. So if we had a random seed, a increment, decrement, or randomize, it would have generated a new base image. But here it just upscaled the base image because it didn't change. And as you can see here, it brought in much more detail in. So here, look at the direct comparison. Hey friends, if this video helped you out, then please help me out and subscribe to my channel, like this video, visit my Patreon. I give a lot of stuff for free. And if you ever wanted to know how to generate amazing videos from still images, then watch this video here next.